Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed by hitting the little bell beside subscribe to get notifications for when new videos are released. Today we're gonna to be painting a galaxy sky painting. There's lots of different images on Google as well as Pinterest that you can take a look at for inspiration for different colors that they used we're going to be painting a purple galaxy sky purple is my favorite color but you can add other colors like pinks and blues burgundies greens just have a look on images not to copy them but to use it as inspiration and for ideas so i'm using a five by seven canvas board. You can use any size of canvas or canvas board or watercolor paper you would like. I have a two inch flat brush, a one inch flat brush, a number six round, a small detail round brush, and a fan brush. This is gonna help us with all the different stars in our galaxy sky. I've also got a cloth rag and a cup of water. In my palette, I have some titanium white, Mars black, I have this Azillarian crimson, some cadmium yellow, some Azo red light, which is this orange color, um, some cadmium red, I have iridescent pearl for our stars, or you could use some silver or any kind of metallic paint you would like. I have permanent green light, phthalo blue, and ultramarine blue. So you can use colors that are similar to these. If you don't have the exact same colors, don't worry about it. All right, so let's get started with our painting. So to start, we're going to do a base coat in some Mars Black. And we're just going to cover our board completely. I'm just adding a little bit of water on my brush just to get it soaked in because you want to cover all these little white specks so you can always do a second coat of black paint and just make sure that it's covered completely. And you can make sure you do your edges as well. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so now that it's Still kind of wet we're going to brush in some of our purples into it so I have some of my ultramarine blue and a little bit of my cadmium red I'm just gonna mix this nice purple and you're just gonna kind of dab it in and the way galaxy sky is kind of like the northern lights, it's just going to kind of trail down. So we're just kind of dabbing it into our blacks, but it's not just a solid, boring black. And then you can mix a little bit of extra blue in there as well.
we're going to get a little bit of our titanium white to mix in. And it's just going to have kind of one streak like the Milky Way in our sky. And a little bit more white. I'm just kind of dabbing it down. And add some more blue to it. Just really build up the layers and try to get some variety with some different colors in there. So I can use some of our crimson as well. It's all going to be lighter on this left side of the canvas. All right, so we're just gonna let it dry for a bit and then we're gonna come back to it and add the stars. All right, so now that we have this kind of strip going down, we're just going to add another little strip over here. Still keeping the lighter side towards the left. I'm just kind of moving quickly. And then I can add some more blue to it. And then I can add some red and crimson. A little bit of blue. For some streaks of purple. I'm just dry brushing. I don't have a ton of paint on my brush. I'm just kind of letting it layer in. white. 
really kind of exaggerate it and let it be a nice highlight and contrast. And you can have some areas that are a bit whiter than other areas. Just continue to kind of dry brush some more paint purple in it, make it look more interesting. Now with your round brush, you're gonna just mix some of your yellow with some titanium white, more white than yellow. So it's just kind of a nice soft yellow. And then you can mix in a tiny bit of the purple that you made as well. This is going to be towards the bottom of our canvas, sort of kind of like a sunset. And it's just going to kind of fade into it. So you can carry up some of this yellow into the galaxy sky as well. Now that we have our light area mapped out, we can go back in with some of our ultramarine blue. We can add a little bit of phthalo blue in there as well. Some red. And just kind of blend this section a bit more. Add some of our black. Put some black over top, help blend it in. I'm just kind of using little brush strokes. more black on top if it's not dark enough. Add a bit of red in there as well. This is abstract, so you can just kind of paint quickly with short brush strokes. Don't worry about it looking too perfect because we're also going to add stars on top of this. black, help blend it in, Now 
Now we're just going to let it dry and come back to it. All right, so we're gonna mix a little bit more purple now that our paint has dried a little bit. Get some blue and red in there. A bit of white, some red. I'm just gonna brush some purple trailing around our lighter bit here. And then we can do the other side as well. And again, dry brushing. I don't have a lot of paint or water on my brush. And we can get some of our lighter color with our white and our yellow. And a bit more. You can get a bit of water on. Just kind of blend that in a bit softer. And you can take your cloth and just kind of dab it. And then get some more water on. And I'll just do some washes in some areas and we can kind of dab it off. Some more blue, purple around it. So now we're just going to take our detail brush and just kind of blend in some areas. add some white in some areas make it pop more I've mixed a little bit of yellow as well
can paint some bigger stars. Okay. And now we're going to get our fan brush. You get some of your iridescent pearl on it. And just flick it. The more stars, the better for our galaxy painting. Can do some white as well. And some white on the other side. My brush is a little bit wet. Okay, that's good. So then any areas that are kind of bothering you, like this one I think is too big, so I'm just gonna brush over it. And you can just touch it up with your detail brush. Fix any stars that you don't like. And then we're just going to kind of brush over because we don't want any stars in this lighter part. some trees so you can just paint a little black strip along here make sure you get the edge Then our trees aren't going to be very big, they're kind of in the distance. So put some close together, some a bit further apart, some are going to be thick and fat, some might be tall and skinny. So I'm just kind of using my detail brush and I'm just kind of globbing it on like that. Try not to make them all the same or evenly spaced, we want them to kind of look realistic as possible. have some spaces without some trees too and I'm just working very quickly I'm just kind of dabbing it on make sure you get the edges and the sides okay and then again touch up any areas that maybe stand out too much.
so I can add some more dark colors. Just kind of blend that in a little bit more natural. Okay, so I'm just getting some darker areas in here, blending it in a bit better. Okay. So now with your detail brush, you can take some of your iridescent pearl. Um, and I'm just going to kind of blend in the sides a bit. Some wispy clouds and give it just a little bit of shine. Not too much. Put some down here too. And if you have silver paint, you could try mixing a little bit of silver with white. And again, I'm just dry brushing it in. All right, so there you have it, our Galaxy Sky Painting. Again, if you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell to receive notifications for when new videos come out. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow me at Jackie Partridge Art on Instagram and Facebook to see new previews of videos. Happy painting, bye.